hello boys welcome back to another session of video tutorials and this session is meant for class 11th biology students and this is 3rd february this is meant for 3rd february 2021 and this session is especially for answering question number four in your practicals as i have been telling you question number four consists of the identification questions wherein two specimens and one slide or two slides and one specimen one from plants uh, division another from animal division will be kept for you in the annual practical examination so it is worth seven marks and this is the highest mark this question carries highest marks in the practicals so to train you in that we are having this session so as part of it we are now going for identification of the given let's say leech is given to you is kept and you have to first identify and write biological name hirudinaria granulosa first one then draw the diagram as you are seeing or if you have practiced uh, in uh, advance uh, no problem that's well and good after drawing it now label it anterior sucker mouth male genital pore female genital pore posterior sucker anus and segmental receptor organs now once you have done that classification now you go for the classification classification kingdom animalia phylum annelida class hirudinaria order nathodelida genus hirudinaria species granulosa so this is how you have to write classification then now you come for the features important features about this animal it is found in freshwater ponds and sluggish streams commonly known as indian cattle leech it's a temporary ectoparasite that leads to uh, the, that feeds on cattle and particularly its blood sucking its food is blood the body is elongated dorso ventrally flattened and metamerically segmented you see the technical word metamerization if the body is segmented like this with lines then we say metamerism and the body has 33 segments exhibits powerful organ attachments and locomotion exhibits it has got a suckers okay with which it sucks the blood and it gets attachment also and locomotion also there are five pairs of small eyes situated dorsally in the first five segments the anus is present at the base of the posterior sucker dorsally now for any animal you must remember that there is a dorsal side ventral side anterior side and posterior side the anterior end that is front end has anterior sucker which is cup shaped turned downwards and ventral where in the mouth is centrally located the posterior end that is back side has a posterior sucker which is circular and is highly muscular it's formed as a result of fusion of the last seven segments and of course leech is bisexual as you are saying male and female will be there now come to the next one peritima posthuma of course very familiar one earthworm common name draw the diagram spelling you see while writing the spelling peritima posthuma p h e r e so take care of the spellings also draw the diagram of course mouth region anterior region anus posterior region there will be ct and the 13th segment female genital pore will be there male genital pore will be there there will be chalicose color thick brown color that's called uh, uh, let's see what you are going to write here so draw the diagram label it and then classify it as usual since we are talking of animals kingdom animalia phylum annelida class oligoketa order tercile genus peritima and species posthuma 
And remember, all these words are Latin words. You may find it difficult to pronounce as well as write the spelling. So you need to practice. Now come to the features. <clears throat> Generally found in moist soils. The body is long, triploblastic. Now what do you mean by triploblastic? Tri means three. Three layers are there. Ecto, endo and meso. So three layers are present in the embryo. Cylindrical body. And it is U coelomate. U means really true coelomate. And metamerically segmented means body is as you are seeing divisible into segments like this so then that phenomena is called metamerization the mouth is at the anterior end and anus is at the posterior end now what is important just now i was telling you that 13 segment where chalicose color or uh, thick uh, brown color clitellum so it's a circular band of glandular tissue located in the 14th, 15th and 16th segments. So this segment is very, very important this area because in this both male sex and female sex will be present. So heart, that is the reason why earthworms are hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodite means an animal that has got both male as well as female sex organs within the same body. That's hermaphrodite. Presence of a single female genital aperture mid-ventrally on 14th segment. Presence of a pair of male genital aperture ventrolaterally. They are mid-ventral, ventrolaterally in the 18th segment. A pair of genital papillae are located ventrolaterally on 17th and 19th segment. The anus is present in the last segment as you are seeing here. And setae are the locomotory structures that are located in the segments except the last, first and the last. Now come to the next one, third animal, prawn. It's called Peleman. So the Peleman, uh, now the diagram again. You need to draw the diagram of a prawn. Now, what is important is antenna, compound eye, antenna spine, carapace, uh, abdominal segments, and uh, periopods, periopods, and pleopods, telson, uropod. Now, how much ever you remember, you can just label it, but don't leave the diagram without labeling. At least two, three, at least you label it. Classification, as usual, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, Class Crustacea, Order Decapoda, Genus Peleomon, and Species Malcoi Sony. Malcolum Sony. Now, the uh, Arthropoda, of course, you know it, it is the phylum that has got highest animals in the entire animal kingdom now features it's a freshwater entity that's found in ponds lakes and rivers in fact uh, many people do a lot of business with this the, the prawns okay prawn culture they do the body is laterally compressed and protected by a chitinous exoskeleton chitin very powerful material the body exhibits an anterior cephalothorax and posterior abdomen the cephalothorax is formed by the fusion of five segments that constitute the head and the thorax is composed of eight segments the carapace is an exoskeleton shield that protects the cephalothorax anteriorly it is produced into a serrated median process known as the rostrum a pair of stacked eyes at the base of rostrum. So it has got eyes also. There is one pair of appendages at each segment of the cephalothorax. Five pairs in the head region, eight pairs in the thoracic region. The last five pairs for walking known as periopods. The abdomen has six segments followed by a telson which is a conical flat piece a pair of abdominal segments at the ventral side known as pleopods are 
swimmers are also present uropods are the last pair of abdominal appendages now next one very common one you must have seen in your own home that's uh, bombax mori that is silk worm uh, the silk worm here uh, what is required is it's not this pelamon you cancel it it is bombax mori now you need to draw the diagram first okay adult uh, butterfly that is a silk worm a butterfly then eggs on the leaf mulberry leaves and uh, the caterpillar not to forget then of course cocoons and particularly in mysore region this is very very famous mysore silk so classification uh, kingdom animalia phylum arthropoda because arthropoda poda legs arthro divide divided the legs the body is divided into segments class insecta order lepidoptera genus bombax species mori features are important characteristics an adult silk moth has a creamy white color and is about 3 inches in length having two wings as you are seeing the body can be distinguished into head thorax and abdomen and is covered with tiny scales the larvae undergo a metamorphosis for 4 months post which they stop feeding though its uh, spinnerets they secrete a slimy fluid this liquid when it comes in contact with air turns into silk thread and stays coiled and wrapped around its body to form a pupa and larvae form the cocoon this you can see the formation of that cocoon which is very very valuable now two pairs of wings are present along with the three pairs of legs now we come to the next animal that is a snail apple snail pila globosa apple snail pila globosa draw the diagram first as usual you got to now mouth or aperture then there is a suture apex of shell penultimate ole round so will be there varix umbilicus outer lip now classification it belongs to kingdom animalia of course phylum mollusca gastropoda class order prosobranchiata genus pila species globosa pila globosa features it has slim and soft body that is enveloped in a coiled calcareous shell now you have to if you have to see the animal you have to break this shell that shanku you know don't think that the calcareous shell itself is an animal inside there will be animal okay the shell opening is sealed by an operculum thick plated operculum the body can be distinguished into head foot visceral mass and mantle so there is a foot also the animal will be keeping the foot out then there is a slight uh, sexual dimorphism with the separation of sexes there is a male sex animal female sex animal the shell is coiled and univalved and then foot is broad and muscular the head is distinct from tentacles and eyes so like this for every specimen that is displayed in front of you first you need to identify identify the animal or the plant that is put as specimen second draw the diagram label it third classify it fourth at least four best features of that animal or plant you write okay then it will give